ago I made this cake and I totally love this cake so I decided to do a tutorial on it. In this video I will show you how to make these gorgeous knitted hearts trimming gold. If you like this type of tutorial feel free to subscribe to my channel. All the links will be posted in the comment box below. I am adding a section to the website in which I will add the full explanation on how I did this full cake including the tassels and everything on it. I will talk more about this later but for now let's get started with the tutorial for the hearts. I am using red fondant for this part of the project. I am knitting the fondant really well. I use Chef Master's Super Red to color the fondant. Once I kneaded my fondant and rolled it with a rolling pin, I am placing it on my mold. I rolled the fondant to around a size number one in the pasta machine. I want a kneaded look in the fondant so I'm using a very basic kneaded pattern and I am pressing the fondant really well making sure it's pressed everywhere. Need a big piece of fondant so I just cut a piece enough to be able to cut my two hearts out of it. I am using just a regular hard cutter. I wiggle it and make sure that all the edges are clean. I am using a round tip to cut a hole on the heart. You can use a tip number 6 or 7, whichever you have available. All you need to make sure is that the thread that you will use fits through the hole. I roll a piece of white gum paste and this is how thin it is. I roll it through the pasta machine in a size number 4 and I am pressing it well on my cutter. You can use an extruder if you prefer. If you decide to use fondant for this, make sure to add some tylos to have a better consistency. I am using my rolling pin to make sure that the fondant is really well cut into the cutter. You can slide the rolling pin or you can even use your fingers. All you want to make sure is that all the lines are visible. Once I make sure everything is cut, I cut the excess on the side. Leaving a little bit of gum paste to each side helps you get it out of the cutter. If you have any issues with the gum paste sticking to the cutter, you can add a little bit of cornstarch. I will be adding a little bit of a detail around the heart. Take some glue and just go all around the edge of the heart. In here you can see how thick the fondant is. When I am working on this type of details, I usually add tylos to the fondant or use gum paste. Once I added the glue, I am ready to add the strip of gum paste around it. Just work on a flat area and just place it around and the gum paste will stick to the glue. Use a Dresden tool to make sure it's shaped around the top and cut the excess. I am leaving a long strip on the bottom because I want to roll that area. I take another strip and place it on the other side going all around the heart. You can roll the fondant in a spiral. All you have to make sure is that the roll is a little bit tight. It doesn't have to be perfect. Do the same on the other side and make sure they look as close in size as you can. It's supposed to look a little bit homemade. Once you're happy with the shape, you want to let this dry. I would let it dry overnight so I can paint it the next day. You can place this over foam so it dries faster. Once it's dry, I am using a little bit of gold highlighter and a small brush. The gold highlighter has some lemon extract and I'm just going carefully all around the heart making sure that the gold is all around the stripe. You want to make sure that the gold highlighter has a good consistency. If you add too much lemon extract, 
you can either let the lemon extract evaporate a little bit or you can add more powder and make sure you have a good consistency. Once you have your heart painted, let it dry for a couple of minutes and then you're ready to place on your cake. If you love this video and would love to learn how to make this cake from top to bottom, you can find this full tutorial and many more videos to come starting on my new section in the website called My Cake Family. I will post the link in the comment box below so you guys can go and visit my website and join this member area. As a member of My Cake Family, you can check all the tutorials and have full access to them anytime you want. And with your support, I can keep adding more tutorials there. I already added some of my Gompez flowers in there and I am working on more videos that I am editing to add them there soon. If you want more information, you can check the comment box below or just visit my website and check the top link where it says my cake family. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel, visit me in Facebook, Instagram, visit my blog, and until next time, ta-ta!